what's up this is gaming hacks and we will be showing you how to basically run your Wiimote as a controller for your computer or even a mouse pretty much the same process anyway um first thing is you're obviously going to be needing a Wiimote and a Bluetooth adapter for your computer or if you have built in Bluetooth that works too just need some sort of way of getting Bluetooth signals to your computer it's fairly easy to do this tutorial everyone thinks is like really hard it's actually pretty simple just need to know how to do it and you're pretty much good anyway um, you're going to also need this program called GlovePie all the links to this stuff will be available on my website so we have them PC downloads under GameX, yeah. And then you also need a program called Parallel Port Joystick. This is not necessarily, it's like not required, but all, some of your stuff will need it. I, I personally like it because it won't mess with your keyboard and stuff like that. Anyway, um, basically the first step is actually connecting your Wiimote to the computer and to basically do that you plug you have to install your Bluetooth equipment and plug in your adapter in your computer. Every Bluetooth thing will be a little bit different, but it's the basic same idea. This is like the cheapest one available right now. So basically when you install it you're gonna have this this program called Bluetooth Places. All we're basically gonna do is just activate the Bluetooth down here. Right there and just start the Bluetooth device and it'll start up as you can see and just explore your Bluetooth places and it is right here alright and I'll just go to Bluetooth Setup Wizard for me at least for this one and select um uh oh yeah but yeah I know the service I want to use, I just want to find a Bluetooth device that provides its service. You click next there, and you want to select human interface device right there. Then you want to click next, and then when you do that, you're going to want to pair. Put this remote in pairing mode. You can either click the red button after you take off the battery case, or you, you want to be easy, hold one and two together. You're going to want a good amount of battery left in your we mount for this to work. So, you need to click clicking it. So, this can take a while. Um, we'll see. It should appear on your screen soon. And it's right there. Alright, so now I just select it and click next. And it should start pairing yep and just click finish and you're done and right now it's paired with the computer so the next step from here is to install that program ppjoy and just go to configure joysticks and then mine's already added but you're just going to want to add one and basically have the same settings as this you want to switch the mapping around and you want it to have two axes, 11 buttons, and two POV hats. And then your axes will be obviously X and Y. So, yeah, that's pretty simple. Then you just click done, it'll be like find new, found new hardware. It's pretty much just tricking the computer into thinking there's a joystick plugged in, even though there isn't. And then from here, you're going to want to open up GlovePie, which is, you don't really install the program, just an EXE file. So, um, open that up, and you're basically just not, it's a simple code, it's pretty easy to learn online, you can figure it out, um, but you can also find pre-made ones if you don't know programming very well, although this is a very easy code to learn, you can pretty much just enter in whatever you want, there's a GUI on here, so you can make your own controls, but anyway, um, you basically just go there and just create your code and it's sort of using your Wemo and making buttons for it 
and basically here I'll open up. You pretty much have several. It's pretty easy code to write. I'll just turn the camera off and write one real quick. I have my code set over here. Um, we're just basically going to be running an emulator right there. We'll just run GBA. And we'll be playing Castlevania. And just to prove I own it, there's Castlevania Double Pack, which is basically Area of Sorrow and Harmony Dissonance. So, I do own the game, and it's only legal to run emulators if you own the game that you're playing and you own the console that it's on. Alright. So, basically, we're just gonna go to Options, Joypad, Configure Joypad 1, and all you're basically going to do is click the button that you want to use for it. So let's say you want to use up. So I'm going to click up over there. And yeah. But first, which I just realized I forgot to do, is go to your code for PPJoy. Or not PPJoy, Glove Pie. You're just going to go and select Run. And now that it's running, you can go here and select your key. As you can see, you click one, and then you sw see it switches there. And then you go down, left, right. Um, A button I'll keep as two. B button will be that. L. I don't know. I'll do that for L. This for R. This will be select. This will be start. Speed will be home. I don't really care about capture. Okay, so I'm just click OK. Open up the file. And area of sorrow. Let's keep it full screen. Alright. Now, I'll just show you how this will appear to be. See, look, there are my PSPs and my DS and stuff anyway. Here's Area of Sorrow, and yeah, as you can see game started, I'll demonstrate this, as you can tell, I'll just click start, it runs, I'll click A, I'll zoom out a bit so you can see it more clearly, you can see the select moves, so that's pretty nice, let's take off the wide angle. As you can see, I click A, everything's working. Just have to select my options here. Select data. Let's go with that. We'll make the account name Gaming Hacks. Alright. And we don't care about that. Set to the game part. That's pretty good response time. I like this a lot. I actually now just use this for all my emulators. Then again, I'm usually using the PSP, but whatever. But this works too if you don't have one. I just want to play it on a big screen on your computer. Response time is really good. You can also use the motion sense. Like some people use it for Mario Kart and stuff like that. So it can work as a steering wheel, it can be at the motion sensor bar thing, you can use it as a mouse. As you can see the response time is pretty good. So yeah, response time is really good. Yeah. It's pretty good response time, as you can tell. I'm doing this in a hurry right now. I suck at this game, but whatever. Um, yeah, the point is, you have good response time. Definitely a must-hack if you have a Wemo and a computer that uses emulators. Definitely try it out. And I'm going to close that. Yeah, so essentially do that. You can download everything from my website. 
to find links to it at least. But you'll find some downloads. Um, so yeah, definitely go for it. It's a must have.